thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel. Today I have for you the July 2015 Sizzy unboxing and review. So Sizzy is a brand new subscription service based out of Canada. It's a beauty subscription service which costs $14 a month. Um, that includes shipping, although next month I believe that they're incorporating a um, additional shipping charge between two and five dollars to cover um, the costs of shipping and to ensure that everybody gets a tracking number with their order, which I think is a good implementation. It's nice to be able to track your bag because um, you'll see actually this month I had to pay extra postage when this came in. It was four dollars and ten cents plus tax postage. So. Um, I was talking to Sherry, who's the owner of Sizzy, I believe, or the founder anyway, and she mentioned that um, there was an issue, I guess, that they were still working through, because they are still brand new. Um, the first bag was actually just released in June, so this is only the second bag ever um, from Sizzy. Um, one other thing I want to address before I do the unboxing is that there has been a lot of contention around Sizzy, I guess, last month. I don't really follow the beauty blogs um, stuff out there, but I do follow all of these subscription box blogs, and um, a couple of the bloggers have noted that people are wondering about the quality of the products and whether or not they're discontinued products in the bags and so on. So anyway, let's see what's inside. So Sizzy comes with um, a bag. It is the Sizzy Glam bag, and um, it's kind of like a Canadian version of Ipsy, which I love. I think that's a great idea. So it does come back, come with a cosmetic bag, and you see this one's bag is so cute. It's black and white, it starts with a red bow. Love this. Um, there are variations of the bag this month. I've seen some people got like um, a purple flowery kind of bag instead of this one. And this is our first look. Let's see, there's a product card, which is, I'm always happy to see a product card in the bag because it helps me value the overall um, bag contents. And let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five products in this month's bag. First thing I'm taking out is this hard candy lipstick, I believe this is, yes. And this is in the color Knockout. This lipstick has a retail value of $6. Let's see if I can swatch it. This is one of the items that people weren't sure if this was discontinued or not, and I have no idea. My perspective is that as long as uh, a product is still good to use and it's not dangerous, then I think it would be fine. I don't know, I don't know much, that much about it, but I do like this shade. So you see, it's a nice neutral shade, and I'll swatch it here so you can see. And it's pink, it's kind of like a sheer pink color. And I do like that because if you guys have been around, you some, have seen my videos, you know that I love pinks and purples and neutrals, so uh, I definitely like this, and we'll put it to use. Um, some people are saying that there's a seal on this, but it doesn't actually prevent it from opening, which is true. You can actually seal it. See that here's the seal, and then I didn't even have to undo the packaging to open it up. But I don't know. To me, that's not a big deal, but to some people it might be. But I do like this lipstick. The next thing I pulled out of the bag are two, yes, two of the same thing. So we have two of these Clarins One Step Gentle Exfoliator with orange extract. This is for all skin types. And it says that uh, full size is 125 mils, and that's $36, but in the bag we have two 15 mil samples. So I'm guessing that there's two of these in the bag to up the overall value of this particular product. Mmm, and I really like the smell. It's a nice fresh scent. I haven't used many Clarins um, products before, but um, this one sounds nice, and I can always use more uh, face wash, so I'm excited to see these in the bag. Next we have a Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation, and this is in Classic Beige, and this is a 15 mil sample. It says on the product card that 30 mils is $9.98, so this is about a $5 value. I received the color Classic Beige, which I think is perfect because I've been using the 25 hour <laughs> uh, Rimmel Foundation, and I think I have it in the color Classic Beige, actually, so I'm hoping that this will be kind of similar to that color. I'm just gonna swatch this. And it has a bit of a scent, but it's almost exactly the same scent as the 25 last, 25 hour foundation that I have. You can see, so it blends pretty well. I'm gonna try this on my face. I think this is gonna be a good color, though. And I haven't tried the Wake Me Up um, line yet. I've heard that it's good, um, and it does have some kind of ear, iridescent shimmer to it. 
don't know if that's picking up on camera or not. And I think that's the whole idea behind it is that there's some iridescent to kind of shimmer in it to make you look like you're more awake. Um, anyway, I'm excited to see this in the bag, excited to give it a shot because I have wanted to try this. Next we have a Hide It Concealer Palette and this is worth $2.99. Um, oh, this is a Technic Hide It. I've never heard of this brand before, but you can see that there's um, a number of different colors of concealer in there. I've heard that um, using a yellow shade like this is supposed to be good to hide um, under eye darkness. And that's what kind of my biggest issue is, is under eye darkness. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I haven't actually tried yellow on my under eyes before, so hopefully it'll help a bit. Um, I also like how there's kind of a salmon-y color in here. This is kind of a salmon color. And I've heard that salmon is supposed to help with darkness too. You put it on underneath your regular concealer. So I'm excited to try this out and um, to see how this brand is. And last but not least, we have a Milani Baked Blush. And this is in color 03 Berry Amore. Retail value of this is $10.65. This is sealed, and it looks like it's fine. I'm gonna see if I can swatch it here for you. This is a really nice product to have in the bag, actually. I'm excited to see what this looks like open. Ooh, it's pretty. So, see this is the product, and see the shimmers there. This looks really nice. It looks like there's different colors marbled in here. Um, and also, underneath, there's a brush. I don't know how, how good this brush would be, but it's a nice addition, especially for travel. And there's also a little mirror in here on top of the brush. Let's see if I can swatch this blush for you. Oh, whoa, it's, <laughs> it's way more pigmented than I thought. I didn't need to take that much, you can see here. Um, let's see what this looks like. Wow, so that is pretty pigmented and it's very shimmery. I think a little of this would go a long way. I definitely like the color though. This is, I think, the color that I would use. It is a bit on the orange side, but I think with a little bronzer, it would be okay. So that's my July 2015 Sizzy Glam bag. Um, I just did some quick math, and this bag this month, the products alone are worth $33.25, which I think is a great value because it's more than double than what you pay. Um, and all the products are fine that I swatched, so I don't see a problem with any of these. Um, like I said, I'm not following all the different blogs and stuff, so I don't really know what the contention is about. However, for me, I think this is a great value, and I'm happy to see these products in the bag. It's all stuff that I think I can use. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how this will be. I mean, this is a lower end product, but it still adds to the value of the bag. Um, this is something that I've wanted to try and I haven't, so I'm excited to see this, and these seem like nice deluxe samples. So. Overall, I think it's a good value, plus you get the bags, so that's really fun. Um, if you want to join Sizzy and check it out for yourself, they currently only ship within Canada. Um, I'm told that the August bag is almost sold out, so if you want to get in on it, definitely sign up soon. I'll put my referral link below for you. Let me know what you think of the products. Are you subscribed to Sizzy? What do you think? As always, thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon.